Okay, guys. So welcome back on this channel. And today we are going to see about uh, volatile organic compound. So what is a volatile organic compound? Is a compound that contains carbon and uh, the participants in the atmospheric photochemical reaction. So if there is uh, any uh, substance which is containing carbon and it is taking part in the atmospheric uh, reaction, then it is a volatile organic compound. These, uh, these are generally volatile means it forms vapor very easily at room temperature, they can evaporate. They have high vapor pressure and low boiling point. You can have man-made uh, volatile organic compounds and also naturally occurring chemical compounds also, which can have a very long-term health effects to both you, humans and the environments. So these are the examples that how they are emitted. Generally, mostly they are emitted through heat. So you can see from by the burning of exhaust from the vehicles, trucks and all, and from machineries, refineries, which are fueled combustion of engines from some vegetation also. We have this volatile organic compounds, which in presence of the sun, they react and result in SOX, NOX and many other substances. So what is volatility is the ability of the substance to vaporize and uh, directly related to the vapor pressure with high substances with high vapor pressure will volatile more than a substance with low vapor pressure so what are the most common sources of your volatile organic compound compounds are whenever you are burning any fuel or oil or gas wood or kerosene or uh, when you are making carpets or floors or upholstery then uh, wood products when you are making that time also this uh, carbon and volatile organic compounds are released into the atmosphere, burning of paints, solvents, coatings, air cleaners, oil and gasoline, vehicle exhaust, and fossil fuels. So you can see with all these ways, the volatile organic compounds are going into the atmosphere, emissions from the refineries and factories getting reacted into the atmosphere and they are penetrating the ozone layer from some vegetation, crops also, because of putting chemicals and urea. And because of this uh, ozone layer depletion and holes in the ozone layer, the sun rays are directly causing problems to the crops and vegetation and global warming. So on tankers or on chips and chemical tankers, these are the common volatile organic compounds which have hydrocarbon, your crude oils, all crude oils, benzene, xylene, toluene, styrene are also there. So regarding benzene is a colorless liquid which is harmful, carcinogenic and it's made by humans and naturally also it is available. It comes from volcano and forest fires and is widely used in the production of crude oils and gasoline. So we, that's why we check the presence of benzene in bunkers and also your normal crude oils because it is used for production and distillation also. It's quite prevalent in the industry and it can break down your water and soil. But it does not accumulate on plants and animals. Uh, short term effects are skin irritation and drowsiness. Long term you can get cancer, anema bone marrow leading to anemia or tissues on the blood cells get damaged and also harming immune system leading to possible cancer and leukemia. Then xylene is mostly human made chemical. Naturally it occurs in some petroleum production of coal tar in some forest fires and prevalent in some petroleum solvent or your printing rubber leather industries. Xylene is primarily released from automobile exhaust and evaporates very quickly into the soil and water. The adverse effects are same skin, nose, throat irritation, slow muscle confusion, lack of balance and lung capability is reduced. Memory gets uh, difficult. Liver kidney functions are distorted. Animals and human testings have shown that uh, xylene causes cancer also. 
but still it is uh, in discovery. Toluene mm -hmm. is again clear and colorless liquid. Were made in production of uh, gasoline and uh, used for making paint and thinners. Again, very highly volatile organic compound, but does not contain in any of Adverse effect, dizziness, sleepiness, unconsciousness, and long term effects muscle fatigue, memory loss, personality change, and uh, still now it's not been discovered as carcinogenic. Then, styrene is also. Volatile organic compound, primary man made chemical occurring in foods like fruits, vegetables, beverages, and in combustible products such as automobile exhaust, cigarette smoke, usually evaporates in shallow soil. Short term effects eye, nose, throat irritations, dizziness, and effects on your human tissues and problems, weakness, anxiety, personality change, but not carcinogenic. So long term effects are eye, nose, throat irritation, headaches and all, uh, long term, short term. Now long term is cancer, leukemia, liver and kidney damages. So how to control these volatile organic compounds? You have to remove or reduce their consumption and purchasing or you per, uh, take products with low concentration of VOCs or no concentration. Then ventilation, if it is present in the atmosphere, of course, you can, what you can do is ventilation using fans and uh, deodorizers, outdoor air flows, mechanical ventilation, keeping the temperature in and humidity in control. Then we have scrubbers and uh, pollution control devices and filters so that these uh, chemicals or compounds, volatile organic compound VOC don't go into the atmosphere. And that's it about the volatile organic compounds.